Hi, it's Jeff from DiscoverDoubleBass.com. That's the home of online double bass lessons. Uh, there's a whole load more string reviews, double bass lessons, and if you want to learn more about the instrument, please go and check out that website after this video. So today I'm doing a review of Piastro's Eva Parazzi set. Uh, they've very kindly sent me a, um, a set of bike strings, which is their lighter gauge uh, Eva Parazzi string. Um, it's also the string that I use in all of my video lessons as well, so you'll be used to hearing them. And to mix things up a bit, I asked them to also include an Olive G. So I'm going to be seeing how much of a difference it makes changing the G string over from the regular set to the Olive. Um, so let's get into that right now and you'll hear examples of Arco and Pizzicato. I'm going to start out with the full set of Eva Parazzi bike strings. And uh, let's have a listen to how they sound under the bow. They're relatively easy to start. I think for a hybrid string, in my opinion, they're the best available because they've got a great pit sound and they do start the string easily. I'm not having any problems there, there's no scratch. And these are brand new out of the packet as well. So they're, they're comfortable to play. I think if I was playing orchestral exclusively, I'd go for one of their orchestra brands, such as Original Flat Chrome Steel, or maybe a string like Tomastic Bel Canto. But as a hybrid string, they really are um, excellent. You know, they're easy to get started, you can get a nice sound from them, and they're fairly quick under the bow as well. So how do they work pizzicato? Now you'll be used to hearing these strings because I'm playing them in all of my videos uh, so far. Now this set is brand new and I have found that they've got a bit more bite than the ones I've taken off that I had on for three years I believe. They're a bit more Maybe a little, a little bit low at the moment. So there's a bit, a bit too much buzz. So I'm really happy with the pizzicato sound with these strings. They're very even. The tuning stability is perfect, really, throughout the set. The balance is good. They're comfortable to play, um, and you know the proof is in the pudding. I've used them in all of my videos so far that you've. Uh, the video lessons anyway that you've seen. So yeah, I definitely recommend giving these a chance and seeing how they sound on your bass. So I've switched out the, the gut G string and I actually filmed this section first so I'd give the strings a chance to settle in. The G has been on my bass now for about seven days and I've done a couple of gigs, a rehearsal, probably played a few hours a day over that period. So I've had a, given it a chance to really uh, stabilize its tuning. But this is the issue with gut strings, is that the, you know, the great thing is they sound different and they have an old school sound, which a lot of people just love. But the downside is that they um, can be hard to care for and there can be problems with tuning stability. I've certainly found that these strings do go out of tune significantly quicker than the regular Eva Parazzi G that I'm used to. So if, you're, you know, if it would wind you up, if it would make you concerned about your tuning, I don't think this would be a good fit, but it gives you a sound that you can only really get from gut strings. And the great thing about this Olive G is that it's wrapped in silver. It's beautifully made. It feels very, um, yeah, very well made, very comfortable. It's a wider diameter than the regular Eva Parazzi G. In fact, it's almost as thick as their D string if you look here, but I find it very comfortable to play. It's just that you're gonna to have to bear in mind that you're gonna to need to keep an eye out on the tuning. And what I'll do is I'll report back in the notes under this lesson 
um, to let you know how I've got on over a longer period of time. You know, it'll be interesting to see how it's doing in a month and after doing a few more gigs, whether this tuning stabilizes a bit more. So let's hear how it sounds. We'll start with the bow. Now, the D of the regular set starts very easily. And this G, the olive G, really does start well, start easily as well. It's a really comfortable string to play. Let's hear a bit more. So it's got a really nice arco sound. It's a little bit different than the other strings, um, but not enough that I don't think it blends well. I really do think it's, uh, it fits in nicely. I like the sound, and if you're using the bow, uh, then you know, you're not gonna have any problems getting the string started, any scratchy, you know, anything more than you would do with the, uh, the Eva Prazi bike set, certainly very similar. Um, subtle difference in tone, and I guess if you're concerned about the tuning stability, that's the only real thing to consider. Um, so yeah, lovely choice for Arco. Let's see how it sounds played pits. So I'll do some walking bass lines for you. So yeah, playing through um, some changes there for you, just so you could hear how it sounds pizzicato. And I try to focus on playing on the G. And it's, it fits in well with the strings, but it is a little bit duller. But it's nice though, it's got a nice kind of sort of sound to it. It's very comfortable to play. It's a bit lower tension than the regular G string, and you get this kind of gut vibe that's really quite, you know, quite nice, quite old school. Um, Yeah, I think it's a really great string. I don't know if I would recommend it over the regular Eva Prazi set. And in fact, I'd say that if you're just starting out um, or you've not used the Eva Prazi bike set before, just go for that. I've used that for, well, since they were released, which is years and years ago now. And it's a great hybrid string that will work really well. But if you've been playing a while and you don't mind throwing uh, some money at experimenting with strings, then the Olive G really is a superb string. Um, if you're gonna go down gut strings and you're like me where you haven't played with them much before, I think it's a good entry point because it is pretty stable for a gut string. 
but you've got to bear in mind that there are going to be issues and particularly if you live in a country that has um, quite high changes in humidity if you're going to be coming in and out of air conditioned buildings then you're going to find that the pitch isn't as stable as you're used to so I hope you've enjoyed this video. Big thanks to Piastro for providing the strings for me to review and thank you for watching. I really hope that you've got something from this and if you'd like to join the conversation in the comment section below this video, let me know what strings you use, what's working for you and of course if you've tried this Olive or the Evers set. It would be great to hear some more experiences. Okay, I'll see you in the next video.